In Egypt, scientists have discovered things they tag as untouched miracles while looking for the tomb of Cleopatra, the legendary pharaoh of Egypt. This discovery has baffled researchers and scientists as old facts and tradition of ancient Egyptian burial and art have been brought to light. Well, be prepared to be astonished as we take you through 15 archaeological mysteries surrounding Cleopatra, the legendary Egyptian queen. Number 15. Golden Tongue Mummy The mummy with a golden tongue is a fascinating find as it appears to be different from every other mummy that has been discovered. That golden tongue must hold a strong significance. The mummy, shrouded in linen, appeared ordinary at first glance. However, the golden artifact nestled within its jaw intrigued experts and sparked a frenzy of curiosity. The tongue, meticulously crafted from pure gold, with detailed engravings of hieroglyphics that left the scientific community astounded. This discovery is just so precious because it held the promise of unraveling untold secrets from a bygone era and a closer step to finding Cleopatra's body. At first, research hinted that the mummy belonged to a prominent scribe, likely a revered figure in ancient Egyptian society. Scribes played a crucial role, serving as record keepers and administrators, and were highly regarded for their exceptional writing skills and knowledge. But as the examinations progressed, the significance of the golden tongue became evident. It is believed that the golden tongue is a symbol of superiority and power and helps the deceased communicate with their gods in the afterlife. As this incredible tale unfolds, the golden tongue remains an invaluable artifact, resonating across generations, forging an unbroken bond between past and present, and leaving an indelible mark on the future's unquenchable thirst for knowledge. Do you think 2,000 years from now, scientists would be so interested and fascinated about finding out about our present-day history? Number 14. The mysterious Book of the Dead found underground during the search of Cleopatra. This isn't what you think it is. If it was, Cleopatra's tomb would have easily been found. The Book of the Dead describes the loose collection of written funerary text, consisting of a number of magic spells, hymns, and rituals intended to assist a dead person's journey through the underworld and into the afterlife, and to ensure safety into the realm of Osiris, the god of the underworld. The Book of the Dead, also known as the Book of Coming Forth by Day, this intricate manuscript played a vital role in ancient Egyptian religious beliefs. It was was believed to assist the deceased in overcoming various challenges and judgments they would face in the afterlife. The spells were written on papyrus scrolls or inscribed on tomb walls, and they provided instructions on navigating the treacherous path to the Hall of Ma'at, where the heart of the deceased would be weighed against the feather of truth. The Book of the Dead also emphasized the significance of moral conduct during one's earthly life, as a righteous life was essential for a successful journey into the afterlife. By reciting the spells and knowing the appropriate rituals, the deceased could secure the favor of the gods and gain eternal life. Number 13. The Long Lost Pyramid one of the most significant archaeological discoveries in Egypt that captivated the world's imagination is the discovery of the Long Forgotten Pyramid. The long-standing quest to unearth Cleopatra's final resting place, one of ancient history's most enigmatic figures, led to an astonishing revelation, the discovery of an ancient pyramid that had remained hidden for millennia. This groundbreaking find shed new light on Egypt's past, offering profound insights into the legacy of Cleopatra and the complexities of ancient Egyptian civilization. In the early 21st century, a team of dedicated archaeologists, armed with advanced technology and historical records, embarked on a new expedition to unravel the mystery of Cleopatra's tomb. The quest brought them to a remote region of Egypt, away from the more renowned pyramid complexes, where they meticulously excavated the desert sands. Amidst the challenges of scorching temperatures and harsh terrain, the team persevered, determined to uncover the secrets hidden beneath the earth. During the painstaking excavation process, the archaeologists stumbled upon intriguing hieroglyphics on a stone tablet, hinting at an undiscovered pyramid nearby. This revelation sparked excitement and hope, igniting a sense of anticipation that their efforts were about to yield an unprecedented find. The team intensified their exploration, and their dedication paid off when they uncovered the entrance to the long-lost pyramid. As the team ventured inside, they marveled at the pristine condition of the structure. The pyramid's interior, adorned with intricate carvings and beautifully preserved artwork offered a glimpse into the ancient Egyptian society's religious beliefs, customs, and daily life. Every step they took brought them closer to the heart of the pyramid, where they hoped to find the legendary queen's remains. However, as they delved deeper 
into the pyramid's chambers, they encountered not Cleopatra's sarcophagus, but a series of hidden chambers containing a treasure trove of artifacts, some of which had never been seen before. Exquisite jewelry, ancient scrolls, and ceremonial objects painted vivid pictures of the ancient world, thus enriching our understanding of Egypt's past. The presence of these treasures within the pyramid raised intriguing questions about its purpose and the people associated with it. Some experts postulated that the pyramid might have been a royal burial site for a lesser-known pharaoh or a significant noble of Cleopatra's time. Others suggested that it could have served as a repository for sacred relics or even a ceremonial structure of great importance. Ultimately, while the search for Cleopatra's tomb might not have yielded the queen's final resting place, the discovery of the hidden pyramid opened a new chapter in Egyptology. The artifacts found within the pyramid shed light on the multifaceted facets of life in ancient Egypt and inspired further investigations into the lesser-known periods of history. As archaeologists continue to explore and unearth the mysteries of Egypt's history, the legacy of Cleopatra and the Hidden Pyramid will remain a symbol of the extraordinary wonders waiting to be discovered beneath the sands of time. The pyramid's discovery served as a testament to the enduring allure of the past and symbol human spirit's relentless pursuit of knowledge. Number 12. Two Mummies of High Status People during the search for Cleopatra, two mummies were discovered. This raised intrigue and excitement among archaeologists and historians alike. The quest to locate the renowned Egyptian queen has captivated the world for centuries, and these mummies offered a glimmer of hope that her final resting place might finally be revealed. The first mummy, known as the Elder Lady, was unearthed in 2007. She was found alongside a cache of other royal mummies in the tomb of Amenhotep II in the Valley of the Kings, Luxor, Egypt. Through extensive forensic analysis, researchers determined that the elder lady was likely Queen Tai, the wife of Pharaoh Amenhotep III and mother of Akhenaten. However, the search for Cleopatra was still ongoing. Then, in 2009, the second mummy, known as the Younger Lady, was discovered in the same tomb. DNA testing revealed that she was a close relative of the elder lady, possibly her daughter. This finding raised hopes that the Younger Lady could be none other than Cleopatra herself or one of her descendants. However, further research Research and analysis were needed to confirm this link definitively. The search for Cleopatra's tomb continued after these discoveries, as the identities of the mummies did not provide conclusive evidence about the elusive queen. The discoveries of the elder lady and the younger lady shed light on the rich history and lineage of ancient Egyptian royalty. Each new finding contributes to our understanding of this fascinating civilization, its rulers, and the intricacies of their lives and deaths. The quest for Cleopatra continues, fueled by these tantalizing discoveries and the enduring fascination with one of history's most enigmatic figures. As technology and research methods advance, there is hope that one day the mystery surrounding Cleopatra's final resting place will be unraveled, unveiling even more secrets of the ancient world. Number 11. The Mystery Behind the Temple of Tapos Iris Magna and Its Connection to Cleopatra. This picture shows the remains of the temple that was discovered by archaeologists. The temple is called Tapos Iris Magna. It is an ancient Egyptian religious site located in the vicinity of Alexandria, Egypt. It holds immense historical significance and is often associated with the legendary Queen Cleopatra VII, the last ruler of the Ptolemaic Kingdom. This temple represents a blend of ancient Egyptian and Hellenistic architectural styles, making it a unique and culturally significant site. The temple of Tapos Iris Magna was built during the Ptolemaic period, which saw the establishment of the Hellenistic dynasty in Egypt after Alexander the Great's conquest. The temple was dedicated to Osiris, the Egyptian god of the afterlife, resurrection, and fertility. It is believed to have been constructed during the reign of Ptolemy II Philadelphus, around the 3rd century BCE. The location of the temple, on the western edge of the Nile Delta, held religious significance as it was associated with the journey to the afterlife. The temple's association with Cleopatra is primarily linked to a historical anecdote by the ancient Roman writer Plutarch. According to Plutarch, Cleopatra and her Roman ally Julius Caesar visited the temple of Tapos Iris Magna during her exile from Alexandria in 48 BCE. It is said that Cleopatra believed she could find divine support in her struggle to reclaim her throne and preserve the independence of Egypt from Roman control. Another historical account suggests that Cleopatra's lover and ally, Mark Antony, may have been buried at the 
temple of Tapos Iris Magna after his defeat by Octavian, later known as Emperor Augustus, in the Battle of Actium in 31st BCE. Cleopatra followed Antony in death and is believed to have taken her own life through suicide by snakebite, according to the accounts of Plutarch and other ancient writers. In recent years, archaeological efforts have intensified at the temple of Tapos Iris Magna. Excavations led by the Egyptian archaeologist Dr. Kathleen Martinez have uncovered various artifacts, including statues, coins, and inscriptions, providing valuable insights into the temple's religious practices and its cultural significance during the Ptolemaic period. This temple of Tapos Iris Magna holds great historical and cultural importance as an ancient Egyptian religious site. Its connection to Cleopatra VII, though not conclusively proven, has added to its allure and made it a subject of significant archaeological interest. As ongoing excavations continue, the temple's secrets may reveal more about the fascinating history of ancient Egypt and its legendary queen. One step at a time, archaeologists and historians are getting the answers we all are yearning for, don't you think? Number 10. Alexander Lighthouse this is one of the most fascinating buildings and an engineering marvel of its time. The Alexander Lighthouse, also known as the Pharos of Alexandria, was one of the most iconic structures of the ancient world, located in the city of Alexandria, Egypt. Constructed during the reign of Ptolemy II Philadelphus, the lighthouse stood tall on the island of Pharos at the entrance of the city's harbor. It served as a guiding beacon for mariners and travelers navigating the treacherous waters of the Mediterranean Sea. Completed around 280 BC, the Pharos of Alexandria Alexandria was designed by the architect Sostratus of Canidus. It was an engineering marvel of its time, standing approximately 100 to 130 meters tall, making it one of the tallest man-made structures in the ancient world. The lighthouse's core was constructed using large limestone blocks, and its exterior was adorned with gleaming white marble. The lighthouse's design consisted of three main sections. The base was a square-shaped structure, topped by a cylindrical tower, and the final section featured a statue of Zeus, or Poseidon. Historians believe that the lighthouse was topped by a mirror or polished bronze plate that reflected sunlight during the day, and a fire was lit at night to guide ships safely into the harbor, though this fact isn't proven yet. The lighthouse was not just a functional structure, but also a symbol of the greatness of the Ptolemaic dynasty and the city of Alexandria itself. It became a representation of the city's wealth, power, and cultural influence during the Hellenistic era. Over time, the lighthouse suffered significant damage due to earthquakes and its decline started during the reign of the Roman Empire. Some records suggest that parts of the structure remained standing until the 14th century AD, but by the 15th century, it had largely disappeared. In the early 1990s, through advanced technology and archaeological expeditions, some remains of the pharaohs of Alexandria were found underwater, near the entrance to Alexandria's eastern harbor. While the actual lighthouse is no longer standing, its legacy lives on as a testament to the architectural and engineering prowess of the ancient world. The Pharaohs of Alexandria continues to captivate the imagination of historians, architects, and travelers alike, leaving a lasting impression on the world's cultural heritage. Number 9. Discovery of the Lost Tomb of Osiris the discovery of the lost tomb of Osiris is one of the many discoveries uncovered during the search for Cleopatra's tomb. Osiris is an Egyptian deity associated with the afterlife, unearthed in the Nile Delta region. The tomb held intricate murals depicting Osiris's mythological story, including his death and resurrection. Hieroglyphics and artifacts offered insights into ancient rituals and beliefs. The tomb's grandeur and symbolic significance shed light on the veneration of Osiris and the cultural practices of the time. This discovery further deepened our understanding of ancient Egyptian religion and mythology, captivating historians and enthusiasts alike. What do you think? Why would Osiris need a tomb since it's a god? Number 8. Valley of the Kings Another captivating mystery found during the search of Cleopatra is the discovery of the Valley of the Kings. No, it's not an ancient place where kings come together for dialogues, but a place renowned for its historical significance, as the ancient burial ground served as the final resting place for pharaohs, queens, and powerful nobles from the New Kingdom period. The valley's isolation and natural rock formations made it an ideal location to safeguard tombs from grave robbers and looters. The pharaohs chose this serene and desolate spot 
spot, believing it to be the gateway to the afterlife, where they could embark on their journey to the realm of gods. Since its discovery in the 18th century, over 60 tombs have been unearthed, including those of famous rulers like Tutankhamun and Ramesses II. The elaborate burial chambers and intricate wall paintings inside these tombs offer an extraordinary glimpse into the artistic and religious beliefs of the ancient Egyptians. The vivid depictions of gods, hieroglyphics, and scenes from daily life reveal the pharaoh's desire to secure their divine passage and eternal existence. Cleopatra and her family didn't use the tomb possibly because of the captivity and war going on during the period of their death or looting. But the quest for their tomb is a mystery that has captured the imagination of world. Number 7. The Land of Wonder We all get to a point where we need a break and a place to rest and close the door to all the noise around us. This is exactly what the Land of Wonder was for Queen Cleopatra. She saw it as a spiritual retreat where she could escape the political intrigues and tumultuous affairs of her kingdom. During the search of Cleopatra, historians and archaeologists stumbled upon a mysterious and enchanting land of wonder hidden within the Egyptian landscape. As they delved deeper into the historical records and embarked on ambitious excavations, they uncovered a treasure trove of secrets that lay buried for centuries. This fabled land of wonder, often referred to as the Lost Oasis of Cleopatra, was believed to be the sanctuary where the legendary queen sought refuge during times of strife. Surrounded by the vast and unforgiving Egyptian desert, the oasis was an oasis in the truest sense of the word, teeming with life, lush vegetation, and a serene blue lake that glistened under the scorching sun. The oasis proved to be more than just a physical sanctuary for Cleopatra. It represented a spiritual retreat where she could escape the political intrigues and tumultuous affairs of her kingdom. Ancient texts and hieroglyphics revealed that Cleopatra cherished this secret realm, using it as a place to meditate, gather her thoughts, and connect with nature. Archaeologists were captivated by the oasis's architectural marvels, discovering well-preserved temples and pavilions dedicated to Egyptian deities and Cleopatra herself. Intricate carvings adorned the structures, depicting the queen's life and reign, making the oasis a testament to her grandeur and legacy. The search for Cleopatra's hidden refuge was not without its challenges, as the desert had relentlessly guarded its secrets for millennia. The harsh conditions and elusive clues only added to the allure and mystique of the lost oasis. Yet through perseverance and meticulous excavation, the ancient wonder was finally revealed, sparking awe and wonder in the hearts of those who gazed upon its marvels. The land of wonder continues to remind us that there is still much to be discovered beneath the sands of time, and if we look harder, we could just find the tomb of Cleopatra. Number 6. The Land of Punt the Land of Punt, an ancient and mysterious region, was an essential trading partner of Egypt during the reign of Cleopatra. Punt was a highly sought-after destination for its valuable resources and exotic goods. The search for Punt during Cleopatra's time was driven by the allure of its rare commodities, such as gold, incense, ebony, ivory, and exotic animals. Egyptian expeditions embarked on voyages along the Red Sea coast, navigating through treacherous waters and arduous terrains to reach this fabled land. Upon arrival, Cleopatra Cleopatra's emissaries were greeted by a lush and captivating landscape characterized by dense forests, fertile plains, and picturesque coastlines. The people of Punt were renowned for their craftsmanship, producing exquisite artifacts and sculptures. They traded their wares with the Egyptians in exchange for valuable Egyptian goods, which established a flourishing commercial relationship. Now, it's time for today's subscriber's pick. This mysterious image displayed seems to be a skull of an ancient Egyptian discovered during the search of Cleopatra under the search of Catherine Martins and her crew in the Tapos Iris Magna. Because no golden tongue was found, it appears not to be the skull of a king or a noble of any sort, and definitely not any members of Cleopatra's family or herself. Still, the search for the legend continues. Tell us in the comment section, do you think these skulls are fake and a means of distorting our search for Cleopatra? Do you believe that the search for Cleopatra will ultimately be successful? Let us know no thoughts in the comments below. Number 5. Mysterious Disappearance of Queen Nefertiti Queen Nefertiti is the iconic Egyptian queen of the 14th century BC, who mysteriously vanished from historical records, leaving scholars and archaeologists intrigued by her fate. As the principal wife of Pharaoh Akhenaten, she played a significant role during the Amarna period, known for its religious reforms. However, after a short and enigmatic reign, her name vanishes from inscriptions, leaving only uncertainty in its wake. It was during the search of Cleopatra's tomb and uncovering different books that this mystery was discovered. 
discovered. It built up so many speculations. How can a queen not be buried close to her king or family? Unlike Cleopatra's tomb disappearance, there are no traces of her, her lover, and her family. Several theories attempt to explain the mysterious disappearance of Queen Nefertiti. Some suggest she died prematurely, perhaps during childbirth or from an unknown illness. Others speculate that she fell out of favor with her husband, leading to exile or a deliberate erasure of her legacy. Another theory links her fate to the possible identification of her remains in the famous Younger Lady Mummy found in the Valley of the Kings explained earlier. Still, this hypothesis remains contested due to inconclusive evidence. Many propose that she took on a new identity, ruling under a different name, while others believe she might have become a priestess or joined a religious community devoted to Aten. Despite numerous investigations, the disappearance of Queen Nefertiti remains an enduring mystery, as the ancient Egyptian records often prove incomplete or deliberately altered during periods of political turmoil. As scholars continue their endeavors to unlock the secrets of ancient Egypt, the fate of Nefertiti continues to captivate the world, leaving her story shrouded in the mists of time. Number 4. Mysteries Behind the Egyptians' Love for the Cats and let's not forget the Egyptian mysterious and significant love for cats. During the search for Cleopatra, one of the mysteries uncovered was the intense love the Egyptians have for cats. Symbols of cats were found on the walls of tombs and artifacts. In the early 1990s, historians and archaeologists discovered that in ancient Egypt, cats were associated with the goddess Baste, the feline deity of home, fertility, and protection. Baste was often depicted with the head of a lioness or as a domestic cat. She was considered a benevolent benevolent goddess who offered protection to her followers, and cats were believed to possess her divine qualities. The Egyptian love for cats extended beyond their religious significance. Cats were also cherished as pets and valued for their practical contributions to society. They were skilled hunters, keeping homes and grain stores free of pests like mice and rats. Their ability to protect food supplies garnered admiration and gratitude from the Egyptian people, further enhancing their status. Killing a cat, even by accident, was considered a grave of offense punishable by law. In some cases, individuals who harmed cats were subject to severe penalties and even death. This shows deep-rooted cultural significance and respect for these animals. As time passed, the affection for cats only grew stronger as artifacts and murals from ancient Egyptian tombs depicted cats in various endearing scenes, often showing them playing or being cared for by humans. These depictions highlight the Egyptians' emotional connection with these animals. Till date, the love for cats persists in Egypt. They are still widely regarded as beloved companions and are often seen roaming freely in cities and villages. The Egyptian cat's legacy continues to be an emblem of protection, grace, and charm, serving as a testament to the enduring admiration and adoration of cats within Egyptian culture. For those who find cats scary, this should be a valid reason to get a pet cat. Do you think Cleopatra would have had a personal cat as a pet? Number 3. Ancient Clocks Ancient Egypt is renowned for not only its remarkable advancements in technology and structures, but also timekeeping. They developed various clocks to track time in their daily lives. While not as sophisticated as modern clocks, these early timekeeping devices demonstrated the Egyptians' ingenuity and brilliant understanding of celestial movements. There are six different ancient clocks discovered in Egypt. The first on our list is the sundials were one of the earliest timekeeping devices used in ancient Egypt. They relied on the sun's movement across the sky to cast shadows on marked surfaces, indicating the time of day. Next is the water clocks or clepsidrae. These were clocks that measured time based on the regulated flow of water from one vessel to another. The rate of water flow was calibrated to determine the hours passed, and these clocks were used both during the day and night, which proves to be a more consistent measurement compared to sundials. Also we have the obelisks, which are large stone obelisks erected in temple courtyards, and their shadows acted as a kind of sundial. By observing the obelisks shadow movement, ancient Egyptians could gauge the time of day. The Merche was a simple astronomical tool used by ancient Egyptian astronomers to measure the angle of celestial bodies. It consisted of a straight rod with a plumb line attached, and it helped in determining the star's positions and provided timekeeping references for religious events. The shadow clocks were also discovered, but these were similar to sundials, but with different configurations. One version involved a T-shaped object, where the shadow cast by the horizontal arm on a marked surface 
indicated the time. Another variant used a vertical gnomon casting its shadow on a semicircular scale. These are also referred to as the mother modern-day clock. The last on our list is the temple timers. These often served as timekeeping centers, and priests were responsible for maintaining clocks to determine specific hours for religious rituals and ceremonies. These ancient clocks not only served practical purposes like scheduling daily activities and aligning with religious practices, but also demonstrated the Egyptians' intricate knowledge of celestial movements and their strong connection to the cosmos. As time progressed, these early timekeeping methods laid the foundation for more sophisticated timekeeping devices that have become essential in modern life. Number 2. The Jedifra Pyramid the image you see here is the Jedifra Pyramid, also known as the Pyramid of Jedifra. It is an ancient Egyptian pyramid located in Abu Rawash, near Giza. It was built during the fourth dynasty of the Old Kingdom. The pyramid is named after Pharaoh Jedifra, who ruled Egypt after his father, Pharaoh Khufu, who is the builder of the Great Pyramid of Giza. The Jedifra Pyramid stands at an impressive height of 62 meters and is constructed from limestone and granite blocks. Its base measures approximately 106 meters on each side. Unlike like other pyramids of its time, the Jedifra Pyramid has a unique architectural style with sloping sides that gradually curve inward as they rise, giving it a distinctive appearance. Historians believe that the pyramid was originally intended to have a smooth outer layer of white Tura limestone. But due to Jedifra's short reign and possibly his unpopularity, the casing stones were never added. This has left the pyramid with exposed core blocks, giving it a rough and unfinished appearance. In the interior, there is a descending passageway leading to the burial chamber, where Jedifra was supposed to be laid to rest. However, when the pyramid was explored, it was found to be empty, indicating that the pharaoh's body was likely moved to another location at some point in history. The Jedifra pyramid holds significant archaeological and historical importance, as it provides insight into the architectural development and burial practices of ancient Egypt during the Fourth Dynasty. Today, the pyramid remains a popular attraction for tourists and scholars alike, offering a glimpse into the grandeur and sophistication of the ancient Egyptian civilization. This pyramid is the most unique and iconic pyramid. How do you think it would look if it was completed? Share your thoughts in the comments section. Number 1. Egyptian Blue even colors are not left out from the ancient mysteries discovered during the search for Cleopatra. Although colors have always existed, this time the color blue held a different texture, shade, and significance. The ancient Egyptians revered the color blue, considering it a symbol of life, rebirth, and the divine. It is the oldest known synthetic pigment. They associated blue with the Nile River, which was vital for their civilization's prosperity, connecting it to fertility and abundance. To create the blue pigments, they initially relied on natural materials materials like lapis lazuli, a precious bluestone imported from Afghanistan. Grinding lapis lazuli into a fine powder produced a rich, ultramarine hue, predominantly used in sacred art and tombs. As time passed, the Egyptians developed other blue pigments like the Egyptian blue, a synthetic pigment invented around 2500 BCE. This man-made pigment was produced by heating a mixture of silica, copper, and calcium compounds, resulting in a distinctive blue shade. Egyptian blue was more affordable affordable and widely used in wall paintings, pottery, and even cosmetics, further ingraining the significance of blue in their culture. Beyond its aesthetic appeal, the Egyptians associated blue with the heavens and the gods, specifically Amun, the king of the gods. This celestial connection was evident in depictions of gods and pharaohs, often adorned in blue garments and jewelry. The prominence of blue in their art and religious beliefs illustrates how the ancient Egyptians embraced this color as an integral part of their worldview, enshrining it in their traditions and history. The search for Cleopatra has been an adventure as different forgotten and overlooked facts became a mystery to uncover. Ever thought a color might be of great significance and a huge step to our ultimate discovery? I didn't think so too. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.